Hello boys and girls of the all new Youth Metropole Orchestra. My name's uh, Mr Hextall and I've been mixing all of your sound clips together and I thought I'd make a little video to show you the process and show you what goes on. So here we have um, a program called Adobe Audition 2020 and these are all the waves of your sounds from your video clips. I've uh, been separated from the video and put into a mixing program. So I thought I'd show you what I do with each wave when it comes in. So each individual person. So I've got a cello uh, wave here that I've uh, imported. The first thing I do is go and edit it as a wave and I would um, do a thing called normalization. Um, so all the different um, sounds all come in different volumes in different rooms uh, so they all sound slightly different so this normalization makes them all um, as loud as they'll go without um, distorting so that's fatten that wave up um, then what I do is I'd have a look and here this is a this is the cello playing and in between the silency bit there's actually noise there there's some sort of noise there let's just play it yeah, clunks and clicks and uh, sometimes you can hear birds singing um, so I do a thing called gating it so uh, what you can do is a gate will um, not it will silence any sounds below a certain decibel um, so all of the you know sort of low background noise you can silence that so here's my gate and I'm going to apply that and most of that silent now except for the little click there and I'm going to do that one um, individually and silence it and I think I saw something a bit funny later on here as well there's, there's a noise so have listen to that yeah it's like a, it's a bow on the body of the cello or something but we don't need that noise um, so we silence that one as well um, so now this silence in between the playing. Which is good because um, you can now, s most of the sound of the room that they're in, and everyone's, imagine everyone's in a different room. So uh, because the ambience of that room is gone, we can now add our own ambience later on and add the same one to everybody so if we go back to our multi-track that's the wave that we've just been editing and it's not in the right place in the mix so here are the cellos that I've mixed together already I think there's seven cellos first and second cello are in that so I'll let you have a listen to those uh, on their own this cello isn't in the right place so we've got to find somewhere I'll just make it a bit shorter there uh, find somewhere where we can match it up so some obvious place where normally everyone plays on the beat or they all play together you know they're all going to play together so let's have a look at the beginning of this let's do a bit of a zoom in so that, I can see that that wants to move back to about now now here there's quite an obvious start to an important note there and if we zoom in on that we can tell if our new cello track is in the right place and it's looking pretty good so I'd say that wants to be there so that could just nudge back a little bit to make it absolutely in time cool so sometimes it's much more difficult than that to get them uh, in sync with each other but basically um, that's in sync now so what I would do is I'd lock it in time in case you grab hold of it and move it um, by accident um, now this uh, still has no ambience so I'm going to add reverb to it 
um, it's a reverb I've chosen I've added the same one to everything so I'm just going to turn that on and you can hear that reverb it's added a nice ambience to it very good um, then I'd add a little bit of um, it's called a multiband compressor I'll show you what that does for me it, it sort of um, it tames the sound a bit and makes them easier to makes the sounds easier to blend together but you can actually t change the tone of the instrument so I can take certain sounds and move them takes the scratchy bit out of the sound so when you're happy with that uh, you've tamed it a little bit this uh, particular cello is beautiful playing and um, I wouldn't do anything with it at all but I do have the option of tuning um, notes some people imagine that you can just like press a button and it will be in tune but you it doesn't work like that i'll show you you can you have to go through and do them individually change notes so the beginning of this tune is analyzed so that's the first little bit there uh, say for example this note was a wrong note uh, and it wasn't supposed to be an F sharp and we needed an F natural there and our cellist had played entirely the wrong note I can pull it down to an F natural and speed up the note transition on it and then play you that back uh, and now it should be an F natural Um, but obviously that's wrong <laughs> so it should be an F natural we'll pop it back up there so you can uh, you can tune individual notes and uh, I've not done a, an awful lot of that but um, it's worth going through and if sometimes someone's played really brilliantly and just one note you think oh what a shame i'll i'll just help them with that note and it's been a pleasure to do that um to make it sound really cool um but it's not literally not just press a button and it it plays in tune you have to you go through you, f you look at the score you find out what notes are supposed to be playing and um and you can you can correct them if they're wrong uh so we don't need that on for this instrument so this mix of cellos is seven or eight cellos I've mixed together so I do each individual one like that and then I would blend them all together which is called a mix down so here is our cello mix which is all of our seven cellos all mixed together I'll give you a, a listen to those they've been mixed down So you uh, do that with all of those instruments. So we've got the first violins, seconds, thirds, viola, double bass. And you'd use the mixer to mix them. These are like sliders, and I've got all the instruments along here. And I'd use this blend each section together and make sure it sounded all right. Uh, and then you've got the whole thing. So if I just unmute those. Um, 
let's see what we've got at the bottom here. So we've got. So that's the whole mix going and down here you could just have a listen to the glockenspiel. Beautiful. Or you could have a listen to the timps there and the glock. Beautiful. Uh, the marimba's playing there as well. The pianos, tambourine, tambourine. And so on until you've got them all um, blended together. Um, a th an additional thing I've done with the voices is if you can imagine the voices, so there's seven voices and they're singing, when they're singing all together, they're quite loud, but um, when they're singing on their own, they're not as loud as when they're singing together. So when they sing their little solos, um, I like to go through and individually bring them out. So um, looking at this uh, voice here, um, that's the volume line. And then at this point, I've turned the volume up for that little bit and then gone back. So I know that this is backing singing when they're all singing together that doesn't need to be as loud as that bit. Let's just have a listen to that. And then when it's back in singing, it comes down there. And I think then someone else takes over the solo bit there. Obviously, a bit of solo stuff going on there in this voice. Let's have a listen to that. So you go through until they you're happy with that and you've got a mix. Then all of these waves get mixed down to one stereo wave and then you would master that one, um, which sort of shines it up a little bit further. But that's a whole new video. Hope you've enjoyed that and it's given you an insight into um, how we've mixed it. Uh, looking forward to the launch. Can't wait. Um, See you soon. Bye-bye.